The Ford Dynamic Shuttle is one of many innovations expected to come to life at the 2016 North American International Auto Show. Ford's been uh, looking at this idea for, for quite some time, but today what we're announcing is a shift from an experiment to a pilot. The Dynamic Shuttle service is all part of the Ford Smart Mobility Plan, a way for employees of the Dearborn campus to get around in a more convenient and time-savvy way. And what better way to add to convenience than with a few touches on your phone through their app? So here on campus, uh, you know, several times I'll have to go, right, I'm in the research center right now, and I'll have to um, go over and work with my team members over at iTech, and I get in fairly early, so I have a great parking spot. I don't want to lose that parking spot, so I can just go to this app, request a ride from research to iTech. Uh, the shuttle will, will route, the, well, the platform will, will route the shuttle to me and take me to iTech with the promised time. I know exactly what time I'm going to get there. But the app isn't the only thing convenient about the shuttle. The shuttle itself features a wide variety of little extras for each rider. Um, but what you have in here is you have nice lighting. You have a US, each passenger has a USB port and we have Wi-Fi for the passengers. And we have an open aisle way down the middle to make you know, access to get on and off the shuttle uh, much easier. We have the cargo area to, so you can set your stuff um, in that cargo area. So, you know, here in Detroit this winter is going to get, you know, kind of messy. Yes. You can put it up there and keep it dry. Although the Dynamic Shuttle is offered exclusively for Ford's Dearborn campus for the time being, it could one day expand to other locations globally, as well as working transportation for delivery services, emergency medical transportation, and beyond. The future is, as, as the environment continues to grow, Ford has this platform running on our campus, and we can grow this platform um, as, as, as the rest of the industry grows with it. Here at the Ford Engineering Lab of Dearborn, engineers are developing not only more cost-efficient ways to drive in your hybrid vehicles, but more convenient ones too. In October, Ford, the University of Michigan Lab, and the Michigan Economic Development Corporation announced a new $9 million battery lab at U of M. It's there engineers are developing batteries that are smaller, lighter, and less expensive to produce. We see continued growth going through 2016 and through 2017. It's, uh, it's a recognition that uh, electrification is a really important uh, technology to be, uh, to be in. We do see it as a, a tremendous opportunity for Ford Motor Company. As a top seller of plug-in hybrid vehicles and second in total sales of electric vehicles in America, their research labs not only reside here in Michigan, but are now expanding its offerings in growing markets including China, Taiwan, and Korea. So we do have a group of engineers in China that have very much the same equipment as what we have in the U.S. So we've got uh, the ability to investigate battery materials, battery suppliers in China. And we've also got equipment in the U.K. with the associated workforce that allows us to investigate supply base in Europe as well as the applications that need to go into Europe as well. In 2016, Ford will continue to accelerate their research and expansion, developing a world-class environment to grow and lead in. We're really proud at Ford Motor Company that we're really helping to uh, to electrify the world, and uh, it, it's really gratifying.